Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and in this video we are going to be decorating my new entryway for the first time. I'm so excited because we bought this home back in November, did phase one of the renovations, moved in in December while phase one was being complete and that included putting up a wall here in French doors to make that front living room a den. And so now we're finally at the place to where I can start decorating and I'm so excited about that because this house has not felt like home yet, but decorating really helps it feel like home. Also, I wanna share with you some of my favorite products that I'm using and how to find a vintage Turkish rug at an amazing price. So you wanna stick around to the end to hear that trick. And yes, your eyes did not deceive you when you clicked on this video. We are pregnant with baby girl number two. I'm so excited. We get two precious little girls. We found out the week after we moved in, which was the day after Christmas. So I was super tired the first trimester. I'm now 15 weeks as I'm filming this video. So I feel better, I have more energy, and that is allowing me to now work on the home a lot more. Now let's decorate. Okay, I brought in my cherry blossoms and I wanna do, put it on here. Hi. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Okay. This table actually is not, it's stained to look that color. I love dark wood, I love mahogany, but I'm thinking because it's stained, I can paint it any color I want. What about pink? What about, what about pink? Is that, is that too crazy? Probably spring. I have my blue and white fishbowl down there with one faux fern, and I really would do a real fern. I love real plants. It is what it is. Got that really great, distressed vase. Right here, look at this. Ooh, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond, and this is the smaller one. These cherry blossoms, Michaels. Here's the ones from Amazon, which it's a different aesthetic, clearly. It, they're more bunched, they're darker pink. I like, I like both looks, but right now I'm feeling this look. This is my grandmother's mirror, and that was her mother's mirror. And it's it's a real French mirror. <sighs> I'm really happy I inherited it, but it's too small for this space, clearly. Like the ceiling goes up, it's too small. However, it's what we have. So we're using what we have. And I think that that is really important because we just moved in. We painted all the walls, redid all the floors. We still have to put up the air vents. My toddler's hollering for me. We've just done a lot of work to this house and we're still doing it. So we are wrapping up phase one of this. And if you look in the mirror, you can see, which by the way, I'm big on what mirrors reflect. It needs to reflect something pretty. And my mirror isn't. But like I said, we're number one, working with what we have. Number two, I'd rather have a mirror in the entryway than no mirror at all. Also, this mess won't be here forever. The dining room I'm looking into right now, it's it's like the catch-all room. It has all the boxes and everything. The top is a winner. This was the final touch. Yep. That's not Emma. <laughs> Okay, now that that's all done, I wanna share with you what is 
immediately by the front door and that is an umbrella stand. So we live in South Florida, which umbrella stands are necessary. <laughs> so I really wanted this like wicker or rattan one. It's round. I love all the color variation in it. And I just love how you can use it with so many different styles. It's so timeless. This one I got from Pigeon. I'm going to link it below. But the best thing is it also comes with this metal tray in the bottom of it. And I love how it's, I feel like it's taller than most umbrella stands. Now, I was debating between this one and one on Amazon, and it's basically the same thing, except it's a square. And I didn't want the square because I feel like there's so many squares by the door with the windows and the door and then the rug. So I wanted to switch it up with something round, but I will link the square one on Amazon down below because I really think it's just as nice. I would like to take a moment now to thank our sponsor, Wild Grain, for sponsoring this video. Wild Grain is a membership box filled with all kinds of delicious baked goodies like sourdough starter breads and pastas and pastries. And the thing about it is everything comes frozen and you put it directly into your freezer and everything bakes up in about 25 minutes. They're made with really healthy ingredients, which is a plus in my book because it's really hard to find croissants with really healthy ingredients, especially when you have a toddler constantly asking for them. So if you're interested, there's a link below. The first 50 people who set up a membership box with the link below will be getting $10 off their first box plus free croissants in every box. Every umbrella stand needs umbrellas. And I got this idea from my grandparents. They always had umbrellas with wooden handles in their umbrella stand by their front door. So I said, I want an umbrella. I want a collection of umbrellas with wooden handles. So I found this great one. It's a bamboo one from Amazon. This was a really good price. These things are like under $30. So this is a really great price for something that looks really good. It's kind of like decoration and it's functional. And then this one I like because it's blue and this is a smooth wooden handle. And I think there's something similar like this on Amazon too, but I got this one from a local boutique. I get out of breath so much easier now that I'm pregnant. The next thing is a door stop, which I love because when you open the front door, the back door is right across from it. We have sliders and we get the best breeze that flows through here in the winter time because the winter is when we have all the windows open and it's just so pretty outside. You don't wanna do that in the summertime here, but you need a door stop to keep the door open. And I thought that this one was, again, it's classic and timeless because it's just, a rope knot. It can go with so many different decor styles. The only thing is, I had to realize it's actually a little bit shorter than my door when I use it on the outside, but it still does the job. I do want to collect these. I have a little collection of door stuffs because I just really like them. The next thing I want to talk about is this really great chandelier that we picked out for the entryway. And the way the house is positioned, I knew that the chandelier also had to be a work of art. I wanted it to almost be sculptural. I found this one, fell in love with it, but honestly, I didn't love the price tag. It was way out of our budget. So Mike had the brilliant idea of saying, let's look at the open box sections of some of these websites that you're looking at. And sure enough, we found it in an open box section for almost 50% off. It was meant to be, I was so thrilled. So we got this gorgeous light at such a great deal. Now the next thing I wanna share with you is how I got this vintage Turkish rug for only $99. And the trick is you go on Etsy, I've heard people talk about it on eBay too, but for me, I for sure got it from Etsy. And there are a few sellers on there that actually sell vintage Turkish rugs directly from Turkey. So number one, they're better priced. However, you can get an even better price when they have a sale. So you just kind of have to watch their shops and you see what's on sale. And I only bought it on sale and that's how I got this one. It's a four by six vintage Turkish rug for only $99 and that included shipping and it came straight from Turkey. It was the best experience. And I even got like a little handwritten note. It was super clean and that is my trick. And my friends are shocked that I got it for that price. I'll link the seller below. There's a few of them. I'll link the one I worked with and just stock their, their Etsy shop for sales and you will find a good deal. The next thing I wanna talk about are the doorknobs. I really wanted something with a plate, something sturdy, substantial, 
brass and I found these ones from M Tech and I'm a huge fan of the brand M Tech because they sell really amazing quality hardware for a very decent price. The only thing is you have to find an M Tech dealer in order for them to guarantee their products. You can find them on Amazon, but M Tech won't guarantee it because they're not certified sellers. So there's that disclaimer there. But I got these doorknobs in satin brass and I'll share with you exactly the, the model that they are. We really wanted to go with very clean levers in the house. We want to keep the house timeless and classic and I love the mix between antique furniture and clean lines. And so one place we decided to do clean lines was the doorknobs and we're really happy with it. The only thing is part of me wishes I went with the antique brass, which is also satin, but it's a darker gold color. We also chose the round doorknobs for the front door because we have a little one who knows how to use the levers and we don't want her to fly out the front door. And I think the shape of these round doorknobs are just swanky, so I love it. The next thing I wanna talk about are the French doors. And as I mentioned in the video earlier, we closed in this area with the wall and then we added the French doors. We worked with the millwork company and we picked out an eight pane glass French doors. They came primed and then we put the hardware that we used in the rest of the house on there for just some consistency. And we picked this really great bronze color. It's not stark black and it's not gray, it's like an off black bronze. And I will put that color palette down below. If you're curious about what we've done in the house so far, click on this video. And if you're curious about how we're going to transform this house or continue to transform this house into a home, then please subscribe below.